Evening, everyone. It's uh, Sunday night around 7 o'clock, and I waited to see what the futures were doing and how they shaped up, and it was definitely worth the wait. Okay, and by the way, there are a couple of the um, commodity charts that have tonight's open in them, and the comments reflect that. That's usually not an issue because that's usually one of the first things I do on Saturday when I start to do the letter. Okay, so things in Ukraine heating up again. Uh, lots of propaganda in both directions. Putin's unhinged. The government's doing nothing. You know, with the $630 billion all belongs to the oligarchs and to Putin himself, so that doesn't really help the country. Bottom line is futures are down hard tonight. Uh, I'll start with uh, the S&P is down 92. It has been another 30 lower. I saw it down about uh, 112, 120 uh, very early on. Uh, it's still down 92. And to give you an idea, while the Dow has only given back 474 points of the $844 rise on Friday, the NASDAQ was only up 214. It's down 314. Uh, same situation with uh, the S&P, same situation with the Russell. So, um, you know, we're back below. On the other hand, uh, the gold is up 23, which is, you know, it's okay, uh, but it was down hard on Friday. As you can see, uh, after trading up here at 1976, it closed mid-range and only 1926, so $50 off the high. And then on Friday, it was down another 38. Tonight, it's up, but it's only up 23. At the high, it was up about 48. So uh, we'll see how this acts overnight. You know, you have to remember these are very thin markets um, at night, especially Sunday nights. Okay, oil traded as high as, <laughs> as high as over a hundred the day before yesterday, then closed on the low or near the low that day was down again on Friday at dollar twenty-two, even though it was up on the week. It is now. If 9696 with a high of 9910. Um, I think that you'll see in my commentary that this is the fourth week in a row uh, where we are outside the upper Bollinger Band, which has traditionally been a signal to be a seller. We had four weeks here, and if you recall, in October and November, we were short in the $85 area, and ultimately it went to the bottom Bollinger Band, or close enough, at 62 and a half. So we have one, two, three, four. So, uh, you know, I mean, obviously the idea area of support would be 83 and a half to, let's call it, 87 and a half. Um, but tonight it's a short range night, but it's up five dollars and 17 cents, which is up for, it's a, over well over a five percent move. The uh grains have not yet opened, uh, they open an hour later, or an hour and a half later than the rest of the future, so I won't have that. Um, net gas up 13 cents. Uh, it had an interesting week in that it was up, although it closed near the lows. I want to get rid of this Bollinger Bands. Um, closed down here at 439 and change, or 449 and change. Uh, tonight we're trading up 13 cents at 460, you know, uh, I can't get excited about this because I know there's a lot of resistance up here. So we'll have to see how this market shakes out. But, you know, we only have uh, 
very small position left in that having sold those 89 cent calls for 285 on Thursday. Uh, we also, just so that you recall, I also bought the Russell, the inverted Russell RWM as a sign of balance when we have as many long positions as we have, even though we had a 100% up sale on the first half of the TJXs. Uh, we have the, um, you, we only have small position at UNG having sold it as high as $3.20. Um, you know, we still have positions that concern me. And so in an effort to be a little bit more balanced in an erratic market like this, uh, we own the Russell reverse. All right, everyone, it's going to be an interesting week again. Um, and as I said, we're down about 100 on the S&P, 345 on the uh, NAS down 500 now and uh, still well 100 over 100 off the low there in the Dow and down 52 in the Russell with the low about $13 lower. Have a good evening. I'll be back pre-open tomorrow.